Many people work with found objects, but Suprina has this really natural talent. Her ability to take objects that already have their own stories and create this overarching narrative. She's a cultural catalyst in the way that she brings uh, different groups of people together. Did you know that each one of us leaves behind over 102 tons of trash in our lifetime? Why do we leave behind more of a carbon footprint than any other creature on this planet? Could it be in our DNA to be so destructive to our only home? The spirals are here. We're going to have to force them to do what we want them to do. And we do this by creating a jig. In our jig, we'll have regular points where the spiral will be attached to the plywood. Here it is, finally done. We're very happy with it. This is the epoxy glue that I use to attach the objects. It's also used by the zoo and aquarium industry and is an outdoor material that is non-toxic. Here I am with it fully mixed, picking one object and finding a location for that object and spreading the epoxy. This process is just repeated again and again. I've been working on it constantly. I'm sure there's over a thousand objects on it at this point. Well, believe it or not, we're finally at almost the end of my grouting process. The last thing I do is I create little grid lines. I do it so that I can help the water run off the piece. We're in Marcus Garvey Park now, installing the DNA totem. I know it looks like a wrapped body, but it's actually the steel structure with the embedded objects. The totem is a straightforward way to bring the discussion of our behavior and our relationship to things we make, consume, and then discard. From my perspective, we never seem to be happy with what we have. How we move? Flowing, flowing to the with that rhythm, rhythm, mother, the style that my soul has grown deep like the river. From a riot to a revolution, hope you know which side you're choosing. I use rap when I feel all alone. You and I were perfectly made, can we fix what was broken? The old cell phones, the old wooden ruler that flicked out, it's just bringing back a lot of memories. It's DNA, it's Harlem, it's amazing. Great memories, yeah. Nice, I love it. When we're talking about our potential negative impact on the earth, but in expressing that concern, she's made something that people can look at and admire. The DNA totem is to me, it's the symbol of the Public Art Initiative. It's the piece that we worked on from beginning to end, collaboratively, and it really defines what the Public Art Initiative is meant to do. And Suprina was a, you know, the perfect partner because she worked so hard. Following the opening of the DNA Totem, Heath Gallery um, had the pleasure and the privilege of hosting the exhibition Caught in an Upward Spiral. And it was a month-long uh, exhibition that featured four artists, Suprina, Victoria Udandian, Jeffrey Allen Price, and Gabrielle Schuldiner. We've had artists that have shown before that work with found objects, but what was really fascinating about this particular exhibition is the way each of the artists approached it. The combination of sculpture and installation and cloth, I left that uh, particular exhibition really kind of changed in the way I view objects and the things around me. I'm sure some people look at upcycled art and say, well, you just slapped a bunch of garbage together. And it, it's not, it's bigger than that. It's way more than that. It, it's, it's deeper than that. It's more complicated, it's more intricate without being overwrought or, or pretentious. Stop hiding, baby, from yourself, no. Some things you can't hold on to. Do, 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 do.
flow and that rhythm that we see. Do do all these plastic in front of me. Do do your trash is my treasure. And let the love out. Just let it out unconditionally. Let it out. Give it away. When you give, you make room. And I found it. I found it in Harlem. Vibrate with sound so I may proceed to collect your languages around. So in the theater of the oppressed and in art we know sometimes your art, come on in folks. Acting free, free. My hope is the Trash Talk events can join the ranks of countless small grassroots efforts to make a real change in our country and the world. I love the trash talks. I enjoy the way we all came into being part of something very significant, very healing, very creative. Creativity always heals the soul and fills the soul. It's creative programming that extends what we're experiencing at the totem. And it's something that I wish that there was more of. It brings people together. She's brought people together, not only around her piece, but around the topic. Um, we end up talking to people that we would may never engage with when we come together around art. Public art allows the, the public, John Q public or Jane, Jane W. Public, whatever the first name is, um, it allows them to encounter the art on their own terms, to understand it on their own terms, to embrace it on their own terms. A lot of people need to be afforded that kind of opportunity. It reminds me of like my community, of like different people coming together towards one shape, like gold.